Hi, I'm Kate DiCamello, and this is Louisiana's Way Home. I got a job in a book warehouse, and I was assigned to the third floor which was all children's books. And so I started to read some of the books that I was picking off the shelves. And one of those was uh, The Watsons Go to Birmingham, 1963. I thought I want to try to do something like this. It was so uh, heartfelt and humane and funny and also dealt with something really huge. And so I started to try. That trying ended up being my first book because of Winn-Dixie. I'll be accused of my books being dark. I will always push back and say, there's a lot of light in them too. Yes. And, and then we'll go further down the conversational road. But so many terrible things happen. And then I will be forced to say, so many terrible things happen in life. Right. But a book is a place to learn about empathy. And if something terrible has happened to you, a book is a place to make you feel less alone. Louisiana showed up in the previous novel, Ramey Nightingale. Right. I thought the story was just going to be about Ramey. And then L Louisiana and Beverly Topinski showed up. And it's the kind of day that you are always hoping for, you know, as a writer, where characters show up that you don't anticipate and that you haven't planned. So that happened. And then when I finished that book, I kept on hearing Louisiana's voice. I thought she wants a novel. I was doing the Q&A session and a little boy raised his hand. He said, I have dyslexia. And then he had held up his copy of Tale of Despero and he said, did you write this book for kids like me? Which just killed me. I mean, it was like, well. I, I, start, I was crying as I was talking to him and, and, and it was so deeply moving because it's that thing that I'm always after, which is that intimate connection that you yeah. have between reader and writer and it was just suddenly it's this bond between yeah. us and he'd had just kind of articulated that that bond wow so what did you say i said i wrote that book um with a, a hopeful uh, broken part of myself and I, that's probably how you read it with that hopeful broken part of yourself too and i think that's you know so that's I, I didn't have a good answer. That is a good answer. Is it? That's a great answer. Do I get an A? You get an A plus. <laughs> 100. Thank you for being here, Kate. Thank you so much. It was a delight. And thank you for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. You have a great sense of humor. <laughs> have you ever considered, like, stand-up comedy? Oh, you know, people will say that to me sometimes, and I... The first thing I always say is what my mother said to me, I'm best in small doses, so it's just like that. <laughs>